Hello and welcome to Flosstube. Um, I don't actually know what kind of progress I've got to show you um, this week, this month even. Uh, I think I've got some of this. I'll start with the stitching and then we'll work out my way through the box. This is my cunning cross stitch. Um, grab your tea because this is probably going to take a while and you know it's that once a month kind of update. This is the color I'm meant to be doing, 746, yeah. The intention and the guilty feeling has been do more and I haven't, um, but yeah, I think that's just down to my back has been sore. But I don't know if I showed you this pro progress. Uh, there are actually two colors in here, but this, seems to be what I'm working on. I think this was because somebody in the group had recommended doing the frames on the white Ada in the dark colour first so that it gave you somewhere to put the rest of your stitches. So um, yeah that's what I did even though I was using um, Misty's fabric. So there you go, there's your reminder of my cunning cross stitch. We have an in-between month this month in October and then next month is the final drop. I'm, yeah, so far behind. It's not funny. Oops. But I'll, I'll get there. Um, I've been um, too tired and too sore. And I know it's the same old wind moan that you've heard before, but hey, that's my back at the moment. Peppermint Purple. I haven't got this week's done, which is very slack of me, but I'm recording this on Friday. Um, so I will show you where I'm up to with that. And while this thing is scooting around, this is something I got for the Stiot. No, this is part of the knit crate. So uh, sip one, stitch one, repeat from the asterisk as you would with a pattern. Hopefully it will stay in the corner now, like a good thing. All right, this is my color Oops. that I'm going to do, and I will get this done when I get away from the computer. But can you see it all? Just about see it all. Okay, there's right week one. So we're down to here. I mean, geez, I started on week eleven, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I started here. I think I came on board here had to order all the bits and pieces so started week 11 and have done this every week did the heart you know as my thing the border is actually this week 15 without the ball bits filled in and um, so the border is actually Claire's design so it looks really cool um, the phrase got put in from this week when I found the Doctor Who quote, so everything has to end sometime, otherwise nothing would ever get started. And then I've got 2020 down the bottom. In the block colours, so hopefully I'll be able to work out what my block is here. This block is all kinds of terrible actually, really, really terrible. Don't stitch tired and sore. Um, I think is the thing. So yeah, I've got to do this. But these blocks here, yes, there is stitching in here. These two and this one were a complete nightmare. I'm going to zoom you in. And what I may even do is show you photos because the stitches, as I say, the stitches are there, but they are so subtle. I swear my cloth is actually the color used in this so yeah, really, really hard to make sure I had the right stitches on those blocks. Um, but they're really, really cool otherwise. But um, yeah, I decided I'd go with Claire's patterns. She did come up with a couple of alternate colors, but it was too late by then. I wasn't gonna frog. Um, yeah, that's that one. Now let me... That away. Okay. And there's my current stitchy stuff. Right. Now, I'm just going to go from the top of the box. Top of the box. No, I'll go with the stitchy product still. Dark Queen of the Sea, stitch along. 
the pattern dropped um, yesterday, today. Supposed to have dropped on the first. Today is the second, but because America is behind us, um, it. I only saw it today. So, this is pattern one. Let me let you focus so you don't feel like you're going blind. Okay, now we've done the fish, and I'll show you that in a second. I can't remember if I showed you that last month or probably not because I do the floss tube at the beginning of the month. But the next section that we have is the bottom of this fish here up to her belly. So we've got this skinny waist here in here. So it's kind of up to the belly and you can see a belly button. And yeah, then her hips and thighs is the section that we've been given in drop two. So I haven't printed it because I don't have a color printer. So when I get that printed, I will stick it on. And I have been using Pattern Keeper um, for my pattern. And that's been working okay. I've been using my phone. And that's all been hunky-dory. Now, I actually have got the cover minders too. They're probably buried down the bottom of the box because they got here at the beginning of the month. Um, this, so these are the fish. So I ended up calling the fish Tom, Dick and Harry because of the Great Escape, the tunnels. Um, so they are my fish. And it still feels really weird that it's the center and there's still so much vacant space all around them. Um, the fabric just keeps going and going and yeah, there's a lot to do. But, um, hmm. Yeah, we'll get there. I think I saw somebody has already finished. It was like, this is obscene. I hate these fast stitchers. It's like, can you just slow down for us slow people? Yeah. And Cassandra posted the actual pattern in, you know, this finish. And it, yeah, it looks amazing. Like she's got this silver belly and you can see the belly button. And there's that. Uh... Now, I'm still waiting on the Paisley Pearl mixtape. Uh, I've got two patterns here. We've had two drops and I'm still waiting on yarn. So that's a knit thing and this is a Rachel's fault. And it's really disheartening that I'm going to be so far behind in that. I think it drops every week. That's the Paisley Pearl mixtape um, knit along. So, yeah, getting on top of things could be really hard. Um, this was part of my Stioch 2020, as you can see, because it says Stioch 2020. And it also says Sips and Stitches, because it was a typoed um, little logo. But this is the team that I'm part of on uh, the Stioch group. Um, I did also tag along with an Australian group because you could have multiple teams. But, you know, Sips and Stitches already, they're my people. Um, run by Miss Laid Pages, who is also on YouTube. So go check her out. And this is um, a Zazzle bag. And I also got one with the black handles and logo. So it's only on the one side, but this one is actually on both sides. And this has a pocket. So I was thinking of putting a zip in the top and um, being able to use it as a project bag. These are really, really handy for me when I go shopping and want to throw in crafty stuff. I've got a nice clean bag that I can throw my project kind of bits in, so wool, yarn, that kind of thing. This bag, not so much. This bag is more of a, it's an outer bag rather than an inner bag. So there's that. Um, I'm looking in my box of tricks and I've actually got two knit crates to show you. One of them arrived today, which is this one, and the other one obviously arrived a couple of weeks ago. This is from the August box. Um, they are doing a competition now where you can get three free months um, of knit crate if you put it in on the hashtag unravelly, sorry, unravel your knit crate on Instagram and Facebook, and it's part of the whole Ravelry thing. So this is the yarn I opened this morning. This is um, a lovely mulberry uh, color. This is in the Energize Me um, bag. This is Midsummer Rose 
It's 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, 20% silk. It's fingering weight, 400 yards, as you can probably read from the tag, which is probably slightly blurry. But there, it doesn't know. 365 meters, 100 grams, and it's a hand wash only and lie flat. This one actually has these little kind of linen threads that kind of peel off it. So you're going to probably have a, a little bit of shedding with that one. But if you don't mind that so much, there are some gorgeous, gorgeous patterns in here. Oh, I will actually show you. So there are your sock pattern. Uh, one of them in this gorgeous yellow. I don't get the soft right. That's the other one, which is a cactus um, print. But the shrugs, I love this. And I may end up knitting it. Um, or a crochet. I think it's a... Yeah, it's crochet. Because it's the kind of uh, double crochet kind of stuff. Um, that's a pure shrug. And then uh, this one is the simple summer shrug and then there was one other um, pure cardigan is the other one and it yeah it just shows really really nice and that's the maker they're the sock colors that you could have got in august and these are the uh, yarn colors in August. These are $28 each. I pay $24.99 for the whole box. So you retail for $28 each. It is definitely worthwhile um, being a part of uh, Knit Crate from a cost point of view. Um, and you can double down and things like that. So I think, I think I've doubled down. I've done an extra order for next period. Alright, my other knit crate, seeing as I'm on knit crate, and then I'll go back to stitching, is this one. This is July, and I love this shawl. Just trying to get bits out of the way. Okay. So, look at this. Well, I don't know if you can see it. This is divine. This is divine. It's like an indigo blue. It's really, really beautiful. The variegation goes from really, really dark through to the paler, and that is gorgeous. This is an Uru yarn by Knit Crate. It's a Stitch and Hustle Cotton Basic. It's a colorway is Stardust, and it's 100% organic Pima cotton. It's double knit weight. It's 266 yards, 242 meters. It's 100 grams. Machine, wash, gentle cycle, lay flat to dry, and the um, colour lots match. And then I got this as a bonus. And I have no idea what to do with this. It's a crochet hook on a um, circular, well not a circular wire, but on a long wire. So it's like an extra long crochet hook. I don't, yeah, no clue. But I, I'm so new to crochet, I have no idea. So look at that isn't it gorgeous so the membership crates had these four colors and they're beautiful this is the designer blurb so the stardust in the purple which is what i have this payment in the all natural colors so this is the chill out box the blue unexpectedly the all natural is the pavement, which is the greys, and hustle is the energize me, which is the vibrant pinks, which is gorgeous. And then the sock yarns, we have this speckled kind of thing, which is kind of what we did with the Kool-Aid dyeing. So they're really, really cool. The shawls are gorgeous. This is the knit shawl, and this is the crochet shawl. I actually prefer the knit shawl. Um, it doesn't look too complicated. I have done this kind of loopy stitch before um where you kind of go around the needle twice kind of scenario to make bigger holes i think that's what i did um so i may even give that a go but how beautiful is that like it's stunning stuff really, really, really stunning. and i like those kind of cardigan-y shawl kind of throw around your shoulders kind of thing um i'm usually always in a cardigan to be honest um 
and that's the crochet version it's okay but I like the tassels on the knit and then there's all this kind of jazz I have no idea what that means on the chart um, very very new with the chart as to what that all kind of describes it's saying double crochet it's saying half double crochet and treble crochets and things like that and I'm kind of like oh god no I'm just gonna have to go really really slowly and then there's instructions with the socks so that is the July box and yeah I think it was those colors that I might have ordered on a double down purchase sorry I'm blocking the face not that you necessarily want to see that but anyway um what else have I got? That can kind of go in there. Ooh, yes, this. You ready? These, oops, they've stuck to each other. Okay, that can now go. Right, I got some cover minders, needle minders, whatever the heck you want to call them. Um, this is from Matilda Crossing and it's the Deathly Hallows. Um, it does come on a necklace um, charm. It's, you know, Cheap and cheerful. The magnets had actually come off and I glued them myself on that one. And that will go into the Cunning, cunning Cross Stitch um, pack. And that's going to be for the rest of my letters to Hogwarts. And look, these are my Autumn Lane Stitchery. Sorry, face again. My Autumn Lane Stitchery um, cover reminders, words. So. We kind of get a bit of a hint with this being all octopusy and tentacly like, and she's not a mermaid, remember? So, yeah. Um, and then we've got the trident and more um, octopusy tentacle things, and we've got the crown, and we've got the starfish, and we've got the trident. Now we know there's a trident in the pattern because you can see the shadow over on the top left as you look at it. Uh, so yeah, spoilers. So that's going to go into my pack, which I've just tossed across the way there. Um, I bought some stuff to make and do uh, last month. I was browsing on Facebook and um, saw this ad and thought these were really, really cool. But when I went onto the ad, it was like, holy cow, that's really expensive. And I'm not willing to pay Facebook prices because, you know, it's Facebook. So I went onto AliExpress and I looked for the exact same item and they were probably a third of the price. Okay, so please, please, please be careful going on the Facebook ads. They're usually crap. They might not ship or whatever, or you could get them cheaper. But look at my sheepies. Look, I've got sheep. They've been enamelized like even enamel eyes yeah okay corny i know um so yeah they're my sheep so you've got enamel gray faces eyes and you've got green chewy stuff grass in the mouth they're really really cool aren't they and i got these so it's knitting and the yarn hanging off the knitting and I thought they were really really cool I'll pop a magnet on the back and um, yeah there will be knit minders stitch minders stitch keepers whatever you know fun and yeah I'll enjoy those now I have oh right okay now I understand what's left right I've got fabric left these are two wins from Bee Stitch Me. So we've got a regular Ada, it's a 16 count. I will open these and show you. This is a blue and it's a mottle. It's uh, 16 count, 18 by 21, so fat quarter. And look, it's, it's actually more purple. Very, very dark here. And then you've got lots and lots of paler up there. Bee Stitch Me is Brandy. She is on Facebook and I um, have videos of me actually unpacking this in September 
go back, if I think about it, I'll put it in the eye here. Um, I'll link the video and you can get the details there. Now this is Evil Queen. I don't know if this one has a name. No, it doesn't have a name. Evil Queen by Brandy. Um, you, Brandy does the Friday night fight nights. So Saturday my time. This is very, very purple and not quite so blue in the camera, but it's an Opal Ada. It's 14 count and it's an 18 by 21. But it's not marked as an Opal. Interesting. Um, the Friday night fight night is basically first in first served and put your name in saying me please and it's yours and if you make a purchase you can then take part in the giveaways uh, and you may win the draws on the giveaways. So that is Bee Stitch Me. Now I also had a Misty purchase. Now then, Misty had a big big sale and there was a number of interesting things in this. So I wanted to get some Galaxy, and I think I pounced, not realizing what exactly I was pouncing on, I know, because it's a mad panic. Um, Misty does her games night, she calls it, I think on a 9 p.m. Sunday, which is a completely stupid time for me. It was like 2 a.m. or something like that. It was, yeah. So I set the alarm and then didn't get back asleep again. So, this is an opal linen, 32 count, so effectively 16 for a two over two, and 18 by 27, so it's quite wide. But the color was just gorgeous, and I haven't got a piece of Galaxy yet. So next time I might actually get a Galaxy Ada and go to the right selection. Or I'll just order off the web, because they sell on the web. So if you really, really like your piece of Galaxy, um, please go there. Uh, we'll go to the grab bag last. Okay, this is Please Scream Inside Your Heart. This is one of her fabrics from the web, um, Fabric of the Month, I think, that she did. This is 16 Zweigart Ada, 21 by 24. It's pinker than it looks. It actually looks a bit brown on camera. Um, yeah, but it is um, a little bit pinker. These are new labels that... Mi uh, Misty is doing. So that's the new one. The old one is that one. So she asked the people in the group which font was better, which was easier to grab and I think it was part of that that threw me off on the grab bag but I'm quite open to be challenged a bit and doing the Nana Mermaid Stitch Along on linen is kind of getting my eyes used to working on linen so I'm not finding it's quite so scary as I thought and it is a six equivalent of a 16 count so I think it's a 32 or 14 can't recall this thing is huge this is half a yard this is 30 by 36 it's a 16 count Ada and it is all the chocolate it doesn't have a name but it just keeps going and going so it's chocolate and it's got greens through it and I can't see the camera while I'm doing this so yeah yeah it's huge it just keeps going and going because it look it's it's still huge there but it is what it is and I have no idea what I'm going to use it for but I think I just like the color <sighs> right the grab bag is really really cool bag with my nail. Alright, now, Misty had grab bags on this particular sale and I try to only go on Bee Stitch Me or the Misty things once a month so I can afford it for a start. Um, so these grab bags are pretty new to me. I don't know if she's done them before. She might have done when I was fairly new on the whole thing. So when I jumped into this I was expecting it to be linen sorry I was expecting it to be Ada and then it turned out that it was linen and by the time I got into the Ada thing it was already gone so I'd quickly gone in and grabbed a 
grab bag in linen and missed out then on the Ada just because you know you're running like scared um, these haven't been finished and they don't have names of colors so we've got this gorgeous blue in um, the I was gonna say tie-dye but yeah anyway in the hand dye and you know it's a small piece it's a uh, smaller than a4 it's kind of like a is it eight by ten it is 17 by 20 give or take you know not a big project you'd be doing like a six by four inch i know sorry i'm mixing up my measurements six by four kind of normal regular old style photograph um size project on a lot of these that was my tea this is orange it actually is way more sherbety in real life than um it looks on camera it's really really cool and again small they do get bigger um, i will keep these open though because i'm gonna just stack them up but yeah these are for tiny projects like you know something that i need a bit of color for um this is an opal linen and it's yellow and i think this is from when misty was doing her curry kind of range and i can't remember what she called it let me take a sip excuse me i feel like i'm rushing and i just need to slow down um this is quite similar no i was going to say similar to the screaming side it's not it's more like snurt this one but it's a gray mottle and another gray but slightly darker i will show you but it's a slightly darker gray than the previous <coughs> um this is a more sherbety orange as well in the linen two edges have been finished off on that and then this one is a darker orange it is orange trust me mm, cameras really not having any joy with that one look at the purple very very small piece this one so yeah six by four or a couple of really little projects but yeah two over two it, it, you really small this was a leftover from when misty was doing her rainbow um series in july july's dying another piece of opal in the green it's very very rich and then this is what it was wrapped in and that's a piece of ada that's why i got ada because you've got the red trim if you didn't already know and that was something that was pointed out and i was like oh yeah cool so that's my misty wins um from august august july all right um brandy will hold stuff for you if you are international and you want to kind of consolidate your shipping a little bit so keep that in mind if there's something that you want to keep i'm just putting them in camera shot now um this is something hello sophie this is something that my local brick and mortar craft store do this is a threads collection a threads of the month uh club so there are going to be three of these there's going to be the week styles works the silk 100.3 and some other one these are open to international subscribers so if you're interested please do get along now i'll zoom in on this and show you go and ask daddy go and ask daddy so we've got the Aztec red. I'm going to leave these in and excuse me blocking the face camera, but I will do my best. All right. So we've got Aztec red in this, which these are all variegated because they're hand dyed. We have the azaleas, which is the pink, rich pink and light pink. And then we've got the autumn leaves. I think it is in the orange. Yep. Autumn leaves in the orange. We have artichoke in the green, pale, pale green. 
We have Arrowhead in this grey colour and we have Aqua in these blues greens. Now I asked the girls, go to daddy. I asked the girls how long these clubs would be going for. Some of them are 60 months and one of them was 127 months to get the whole collection. And I was like, okay. It's $30 for these. Yes, it is cost effective. You are saving money by buying them like this because this is six colors. Um, you would be paying more than $5 for these. It gets mailed to my home. Um, so yes, it's cheaper getting them like this, but it's a big commitment. 127 months is, you know, it's a big commitment. You're talking years um, for the full color collection. Do you need all 447 DMC flosses? Not necessarily. So I think what I might do, while I love this immensely, there is a waiting list. I think what I might do is get it until Christmas and then I might pull out. Um, as gorgeous as they are, I'm, I don't necessarily need every color, but I would like an idea of what each of them are like. Now, Mommy, that, that was wind, Sophie. Yeah, wind. Now, Sassy Pouch. Unfortunately, Sassy Pouch is not an international subscription. This is for Aussies only. So, Sassy Devils um, do the Sassy Pouch, and this month's theme is Rocky Horror. So, this was a lot of, a lot of fun. Everything came wrapped, and again, up in the eye, I will link the unveloping um, that was there. Now, I'm not going to do these in order. And I will just be showing you what each of the things were. So it's Rocky Horror. Popcorn is a must. They couldn't give you toast. That would be really weird. This popcorn, though, is um, all kinds of fun. So there's not just the bag of popcorn. And when I opened it originally, I was kind of thinking, oh, no, it's microwavable popcorn. Well, it's not. It's just a bag. So this is a uh, party thing that we have down here. So it's popcorn, right? I have an air popper, so this I can use. And this is what came with it. This is Flavorista, which is beautiful blends and ingredients of art, ingredients and artistry, growth and opportunity, kinsman, kinship, sorry, and cultivation. All right, so this is Georgina Lang, um, her email, her phone number, and flavorista.com.au Georgina Lang is the website address. I will give you um, a flash. Hang on, let me get it focused. If you're interested, go there. Okay, hit pause and go there. All right, this is a flavor sachet. Now this flavor sachet is field mushroom salt. It's a beautiful blend of Himalayan salt mushrooms to revolutionize your Sunday roast. Add to risotto, sprinkle on popcorn and homemade chips. It's got Himalayan salt, mushrooms, onions, garlic and pepper in that flavor. It is just a sample only. So look, that was a really nice thing to do. And those flavors go for miles. So Rocky Horror popcorn. You throw it in the air. All right. Some of the other fun things that we got. There were the mask with the lips. I'm not going to keep it on. I haven't actually had to go out with a mask on. That's, I don't know how people do it normally. Yeah, not happening. <laughs> so there was the mask and there is a filter inside that. So really, really cool. It's slightly stretchy lycra kind of material. Little thank you card with the lips um, saying thank you. This purse now this is my map of tazzy um piece i don't recall where i put the other map of tazzy but anyway we'll get there um this came which is the lights doesn't come with batteries but it goes around your neck and you've got lights for stitching that's really really cool it might be a bit kitschy but i still think it's really really cool um, now this, I put all the little trinkety things into this. This bag is really, really cool. So things like your scissors, a tiny stitching project could go in there and you're good to go and it can clip onto your bag. I thought this was really, really cool. So some of the trick, the, the, the tricks, the tips, the, 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 the treats even 
DMC Diamond, and this is 35 meters. It's a DMC Diamond, and uh, the color is 380. So it's this gorgeous kind of burgundy red. Um, so a spool of that. We have a cover binder in the lips that's actually quite heavy, and that there's the sassy devil. Devil? And there's the information there on Facebook as Sassy Devils, if you want to go check out Sassy Devils. There is this little notion, which is um, a scissors fob um, tassel, which is cool. So I will put that onto a pair of scissors. Yes, yeah, Sophie, it's cool. And keeping with the red theme, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous silk. It's so soft. It's beautiful. This is a Silks For You 100% um, silk. It's a sassy patch Rocky Horror. It's 10 meters. And you've got that. They are delicious. I can't recall if that's one of the ones that is in the subscription or not, but you will see them as I get them through. Um, pegs. And these pegs are actually quite firm. They're um, quite a hard um, metal clip so um there was plenty of grip on those for projects and keeping bits together and all that kind of thing so there's that and i just threw them in the bag because you know why not now um you may recall when i got my last bag i had a border marker so it was a square from nay's nest well nay's have gone and done a shoe because frankenfurter had the um high heels so um, yeah, it's just a thread keeper, um, which is really, really cool. Uh, and then this was the pattern that we got. This was the second item that we unpacked. This has been specially made for Sassy Devils. So it's the Transylvanian house and that is Frankenfurter in the window. Um, it's uh, model stitched in DMC on a piece of Sassy Pouch Bondi. So Bondi must have been one of the fabrics that they had previously. Um, so this is the fabric option that I have got as an extra. So it's an extra 10 bucks, I think, for the fabric. It's a 16 count Ada, color fastness not guaranteed. So you can rinse this before you stitch if washing is a thing for you. Um, it's called Damn It Janet. And it's a mottled fat quarter. Ada um, with the brown and the grey and it's really kind of pretty um, nice and light so you could do anything on it um, but that's my sassy patch um, that I got and I think that well my box is empty the only other mail I have to open is um, resin stuff so I guess that's it for this month of uh, floss tube. Um, okay, so I have some work to do in making sure I marry up the eyes with um, the videos that I said I would try and link. So if I haven't done that, please nag me. Please send me an email. Uh, or sorry, an email comment. Um, drop me a comment. Um, and I will have to sort <sighs> the sassy pouch out and put things away. But um, there are some of my flossy toys um, that I have uh, this month. Uh, this month, what am I planning on working on? I have the drop two from Nana Mermaid Stitch Along to crack on with for that. I really, really need to kick my ass into gear for the Cunning Cross Stitch um, letters from Hogwarts. We are getting the last drop in November. I can't believe it's October already. Um, yeah, this year has hurtled through. Um, like, I don't know. I think it's just bowled everyone over out of the way this year. Um, what were the knit crates? The knit crates were August, so there will be a September knit crate come through. I'm waiting on tender hooks with Jargo Jarn. Ooh, my goodness. Jargo Jarn. That way? That way. Do you see this? This board here? I'll put in pictures here in this segment um, when I'm doing my editing. Um, if you remember in 
July, I got darn good yarn and I started saying, ooh, I want to do string art. This would be perfect yarn for the string art. Well, what I did, I used my Nosta Pinna. That was the thing. Uh, I tried doing it from the floss hank and that wasn't playing games whatsoever. So I wound this on the Nosta Pinna. And look, I've done a ball, a center pull ball. There is supposed to be a center somewhere in there. Um, and I didn't know what I was doing, so it may or may not be correct. But either way, I made a ball of wool. But more importantly, I threaded it, I threaded it onto the board and then I used the devil's pubes in that center bit, metallic gold. Holy cow, how does anybody use DMC metallics? Is there a trick? Because that stuff's brutal. Somebody called it devil's pubes in cutting cross stitch, I think it was. Oh, what a good name, but why is it given such a bad name? Uh, and then I used it and it was like, oh yeah. Right. So, because I'm on a couple of weeks leave, I had planned to do Yon Baby. So that is basically an MDF board in, I don't know, it's about a centimeter thick. It was a 900 by 600, give or take. My husband cut the long end off so it's a square. I cobbled a photocopied pattern off the interwebs and made it up myself. So I've measured a centimeter between nails. I think their version was actually a lot closer. Um, and you know, potentially half the size. There was no directions how much yarn it was gonna take. There was 350 meters in that ball of yarn. I've probably used about half maybe, or even less, I don't know. Very deceptive how much yarn goes into it. And um, so what I did, I nailed it uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, used a peg for the height for each of the nails, so they're all a uniform height. Um, ended up using a rubber band on the peg to hold the nail kind of upright and, you know, hammered it in, started to get into a bit of a rhythm how to do this. If I was to do nail art full time kind of thing, I think I would get my husband to 3D print a jig for me to hold the nail tap. So I'd be, this isn't apparent in the video that I did because who wants to listen to people nailing um, hammer and nails on a video? That, yeah, that's not fun. So the video goes out next weekend and um, what I forgot to say was um, about the printing and the holding and the, the height and everything else and yeah, just getting into a rhythm. So I felt like Mr. Miyagi, you know, instructions, you know, one hammer into Daniel, you know, in Karate Kid 2, I think it is, when he's nailing the back room. Um, so yeah, it was kind of like tap, tap, right down to the level that I needed it at. And, you know, so I wasn't overexerting myself. Uh, it's still hard work. I think I did it in about three sessions. And then I had Sophie help me out. She did some painting with me. Uh, that was interesting. She was actually really, really good. She got a toolkit out of the whole thing. Cheeky kid. Um, painted it that day, did a second coat that day. I used one of the little tester pots. It was in Bunnings um, hardware store and showed the guys, this is the piece of what I'm painting. Uh, he gave me a tester pot, he made it into a black paint for me. Um, I drew out the pattern on the board. And then when I was saying to hubby, I said, oh, should I do silver nails or black nails? And he's kind of going, no, do silver nails. And I'm kind of thinking, oh, now I've got to put the pattern on. I'm not going to see that when I paint. Stuff it anyway, I'll paint it. <laughs> so I nailed it and then painted it. So all the nails are black. Um, and then when it was dry, a good day, I then started threading. It got interrupted to go to a memorial service, finished putting the wool onto the Nosta Pinna. And um, then um, finished threading it, had the fight with the devil's pubes metallic in the center. Not hugely happy with the shape you, of the gold. You didn't try getting all set with your teeth. No, that would be all kinds of yuck. 
um, yeah, please don't go there. Adults only section. Um, so yeah, anyway, it's done and it's pretty as all hell and I really, really enjoyed doing it and threading it when you got into the rhythm of the threading and crossing it over, you know, cause you've got, you really need to cross it over each other to get that slim line. Um, as opposed to going around and having like a big U that that's not pretty. So the idea is to, to get the cross, to kind of get that line, you know, to arc around. So it looks really, really cool. I will have inserted pictures here while I'm blabbering and you can see um, how it worked out. But I tried to take pictures of the process through as I went and I have posted those on my Instagram. So if you're already following me, you may have seen sneak peeks. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's something I'll do again. I'll do it if I get the right yarn, um, for sure. And I've got half a ball left, so I could do another pattern for sure. Um, I didn't want, um, a specific thing like a sailboat or, or anything. I needed it to be a bit, you know, it doesn't really matter with a variegated color where the color ends up. Um, they were just pretty. And this has little bits of silver fleck through it. And it's just, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous yarn in the... Well, I got it in the July box. It's actually box 15 if you are a darn good yarn um, person and you're getting a darn good yarn subscription box. So, um, yeah, there was that. That was that was something very, very different doing the string art. Um, something I've done years and years ago and actually taught a class of kids it one summer um, doing a summer camp. So, yeah, something I really, really enjoyed doing. But, yes, it can be noisy in the hammering section, so... I think that's it for everything. Um, yarny, now that I've had a think and caught up and everything else. So, um, yeah, plans. So, cutting cross stitch, I need to finish my envelopes. I really need to finish my envelopes. I know I've got some mistakes in it. I'm just gonna wear them and hopefully it's not gonna have too much of an issue when it comes to doing the pattern. I think they'll just, you know, they'll work out. They might be three stitches short kind of thing. Um, I do have plans. I downloaded a pattern off Etsy for the lion. I found a really, really cute lion. He's hanging from a balloon or something um, with the letter. The balloon is actually a letter L. So I'm going to just take the lion and um, put the lion in for the um, Gryffindor. Uh, and that's all Rachel's fault because she has the cutest Slytherin snake that I've ever, ever seen. Like, I've never seen a cute snake, but this her Slytherin snake is the bomb. It's just brilliant. So go and check out Rachel um, for her snake pattern. I think she hasn't given us an update on her cunning cross stitch for a while. I don't think. I don't know if that's the current whip that she's worrying about yet. Um... She did mention high tea off the grid on Instagram is doing the high tea, which is kind of like start a posh project in the month of October. I don't know that I've got a posh project. Um, I could maybe do my blackwork flowers. I've got the floss, I've got the fabric. I just don't necessarily have the chutzpah to do it. Uh, I think actually thinking about it just makes me exhausted. I'm just going to keep going with my two my two big projects being the Not a Mermaid and the Cunning Cross Stitch and then the Peppermint Purple just ting along with that so yeah pressure off and do that um yeah so that's where I'm at I will get the Peppermint Purple done today I'm going to get this video processing and then go and get off the computer and do some stitching I think that's sounds like a plan doesn't it sound like a plan all right I'll do that. Sophie's being weird. <laughs> if only I had a camera that moved around. All right. Okie dokie, I will let you go. Um, I will see you next month for a proper floss tube kind of update. Otherwise you'll get flossy kind of videos. I didn't do, I didn't get a magazine this month. I think I've just been too busy. Um. And haven't been to the shop. More to the point. Haven't been to the shop. Um, yeah. So. Next week end. You will see the board being made. And who knows what you'll get. On the flossy kind of stuff. During the week. Um, some of them. Go, the knit crates. 
sometimes go out on the midweek rather than the weekends. It tends to be more Ada flossy, fabricy kind of thing on the weekends. So you get what you can, you get whenever you get it. Um, all right. If you are not already subscribed, please click like, subscribe, and um, you will be able to get updated from there. If you get the little bell and you ring the bell for notifications, you will get the notifications as well. And I will see you around on the tubes. Bye for now. I might have mentioned that I had a memorial service to go to um, during the week. Um, anyway, I don't normally do this, but this was a poem that uh, David wrote when he was um, a chaplain at the prison service. He was asked in 2007 to write a piece for the Easter edition of the Insider magazine, and this is what he submitted. So these are his words. So this is something just to remember him by. I look around me and what do I see? A world that is made just for you and me. So large and so lovely, a beautiful place, prepared before time to support the human race. Our time on this planet was chosen by God. He came in his image to do good, not bad. We stumble and fall as we try to be good, but fail to love in the way that we should. God made us mortal and gave us life. Our bodies will die through sickness and strife. God in his grace still loves us the same. He set, sent the free gift. Jesus Christ is his name. Eternal life through Jesus, his son, is the promise of God when our life here is done. Though I know in, his, in this life we struggle and strive, we have the great hope that Jesus is alive. Our family and friends who have gone on before, we will meet again on that far distant shore. For God in his wisdom sent us his spirit and grace to overcome death and take our rightful place. So choose today, make no delay. Where will you stand on that great judgment day? May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.